what a start. Well, here we go. We're gambling. You wanna stay in G-O-D, make me this cold and I'm talking like no degrees. This ain't a flu. I seen it way before it ever happened. He gave me the view. I had to put in my time with the TV ain't coming in soon. I couldn't. About an hour after leaving Denver, we finally get our first taste of dirt. This thing sucks on the highway so bad, so I am grateful. Ah, oh, blackberries, I'll take it. Black cherry, good morning. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> We're on dirt for a good chunk of the day. We do a ramp up, so it's just gonna be kind of chill right now. And it's gonna start to get more and more difficult as we get on throughout the day. Whoever breaks down or whatnot, that's usually how it happens. That's where we camp. Couple creek crossings. Don't be dumb and hit it at 30. Go as fast as possible. 40. I thought you were gonna say, don't be dumb and ride him anyway. <laughs> that too, boy. Well, too fucking late, bud. Like creek, fuck your house. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All of us took off, but <laughs> none of us know the direction. Quick break for Andrew to put his bare tire back on. He lost it somehow, and we are off. This trail rules. Somehow, we have cracked our radiator about less than an hour into actual dirt, like half an hour. We've been driving half an hour. So what happened, the fan somehow ate through the radiator. The plan is to steel stick, JB weld it, and hope it works. JB weld is on, now we just gotta get the fan back on and we should be good to go. Hopefully it works. We'll see if the JB weld can hold a radiator together. We are off again. I'm gonna try and take it a little bit easy if I can. Well, we went 50 feet and somebody's broken down again. That's fuel pump. Just do it. That's where I broke down right there. Then we made it to here. Where the fuck are you, Tweedledee? Oh, yeah. Electrician. Nobody's electric. Okay. Oh, no, we don't need to do anything with the fuse. Just hook it up to the battery. Oh, over the top. Okay. Well, we're gambling. This is what a gambler's all about. We're off and moving again. What a shit show, my repair is not holding, there's steam coming out. We're not overheating yet, so hopefully that's all right. Andrew's facing the wrong way with his hood up, I don't know what's going on. Pouring rain. The other Miata doesn't have a top, apparently. Welcome to the gambler. This is, this is of course, what happens. I, we've gone less than 10 miles, probably. The egg, yeah. We've seen this done on TV, I don't know if it's worked for anybody personally, but we're leaking, oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh no! Hopefully it works. <laughs> I don't know what else to do at this point. Get the top off the water. Uh... The magic egg seems to be working. I don't know. I, I it was dripping a ton before. It's only been a few minutes, but. <laughs> What an adventure, you guys. This is crazy. Temp gauge is good. No steam as of yet. It's only been a minute or two. But the egg seems to have cooked and filled the hole. I think that's what it's supposed to do. And we are on the road. That little bit of rain calmed down the dust so we can actually see where we're going. The temperature is nice. What a lovely day. As long as the engine temperature stays nice, we'll be happy. So pretty much every time it starts raining hard is when somebody breaks down. When it's not raining, everybody's good. But then as soon as it starts raining, everybody's got to stop and work on their car. We didn't want dust and we got mud. It's going to get loose. I feel bad for the guys without a top. I'm very happy I have a top on this thing. We're, we're leaking a little bit. Top situation. It's great. Yeah? It's uh, fantastic. Uh, relieving. And then driving the rains like... We also have no <laughs> hey, wipers. Yeah! We also have no wipers, so that's yeah, fun. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Rain again. It's like constant on and off. We lost the Accord. Transmission's broken, but hopefully he makes it home. We're gonna continue on. An hour post egg in the rad and she's holding. I can't believe this is working. Oh, the poor other Miata guys don't have windshield wipers. Yeah. 
it's not working slipping. too? Well, it's that one just got loose. In it. I uh, think it's stripped actually, maybe. So my radiator is holding, but my freaking fans, the switch just stopped working. So then it was starting to warm up. Ugh. Beaches. Oh boy. Why do I do that? Yeah. There is gorgeous. Do it for views like this. This is ridiculous. We made it a few miles after the creek crossing, and the beetle has broken down. Busted brake line, cutting fuel hose to turn it to brake line. This is gambling. It's gonna work. Oh my god! And it's pouring again. It's been fine until somebody breaks down, and then it starts pouring again. Every single time somebody breaks down, it starts pouring. He was looking at you so jealous, like, how do you get a stick that fucking big? <laughs> I put one on there and it was just covered in ads. Oh. The whole car just like oh, ads God. everywhere. I was like, <laughs> You know what? There and is something why. worse than getting rain on in a Miata. It's ants in your car. Yeah. That's, yeah. It. That's it. Yep. <laughs> yep. So he's not jumping his car, he's running his fuel pump with the jumper cables. Fuel pump's gonna turn off right. And it made it the entire day. Like the regular wires didn't work immediately and the jumper cables worked the whole day. Just like my egg in the radiator worked the whole day. What a gambler. <laughs> it's fine. It'll rot. I, I thought like I was going to have to just like anybody that tackle that stuff all day long. long. I, like, I thought I was going to have to just pump. like... Yeah. Oh, it's epic. I have a brand new inbox fuel pump. So that's what I thought it was. I think they're going back around the corner, maybe. Dang, they made that look easy. I broke my diff, huh? The little lifted me out of the kid. So this is where we are with a broken diff carrier. Get it kind of in place and then just see how many two and a half inch ratchet straps we can get around that thing into the subframe. So we're holding the diff together with ratchet straps. I don't know how many miles of off-roading we have left to get back to the highway, but it's a lot. We'll see if it works or not. It's 50-50. It'll either work or it won't. <laughs> All right. So far so good. Maybe half a mile down, four and a half left until we get back to pavement. The ratchet straps are holding the diff together. An egg is holding the radiator together. <laughs> what, a, what a weekend. Five miles off-road back to the highway. This is crazy. This is crazy.
I'm afraid of going 60 miles an hour on the highway. Not sure how that's gonna go. Hey, real quick though, I wanted to give Drew. What? Oh! No way. Just go to him. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Drew. Yeah, I was gonna say it has to go on the nubbins. <laughs> on the fucking oh, no. nubbins. Thank you, CJ. That's so sweet. Yep. I don't know how in the world we made it home, but we did. Diff held together by ratchet scraps and radiator held together by an egg. <laughs> but 150 miles, like five hours. Thanks to Andrew and everyone else. This was awesome. Can't wait to get the car fixed and do it again.